hello guys from the new part of Anyang and finally the dust storm from yesterday is gone and we have beautiful weather it's very warm today first really spring day today and I'm happy that we can go out now without freezing finally and it's quite impressive to see the difference between the old part of Anyang where we live and the new one we have here so many skyscrapers, new ones, which Koreans built so fast. And also the Akko Tower here, which is the highest skyscraper in Anyang. Also to the right, we have here the city hall. We went there because the government of Anyang is helping people during uh, harsh corona times. So we went there for a consultation and now we are making a nice walk this district of Anyang. Let's see where we will go. So beautiful today. I look forward to how this place will look like when everything is blooming. It's wonderful how the government here does dedicate some sculptures to the people of Anyang, which are hardworking people which are doing everything to have a good life. Let's see from today on, if wide angle, I guess you can see way more when I do it like that. But it's also good to see progress during the videos so you can all join me on my journey also to make these videos better and more enjoyable to, to watch. Ah, now we have a little bit shadow here, that's fine. So many cherry blossoms are now blooming and I look forward to have a great shooting with them tomorrow. I will visit the Lotte World Tower, the Sokchon Hosu, also the Sokchon Lake there and then make some good pictures. I hope great ones. Also the streets here are so huge and wide. In the evening there are so many people, so many traffic here. And again from here you can see the sides of the Akko Towers. You have also apartments here, but these apartments are so expensive. Maybe the most expensive apartments in Anyang, if I guess right. Even now a lot of traffic is there. It's great to see Anyang alive. It's a huge Samsung store. It's great how these stores have improved in the last couple of years. When I went the first time to Korea, the Samsung stores looked very different from now. And you can buy everything in it.
are so many bank buildings are here the headquarters in Anyang this is also very incredible when I arrived here the first time in Anyang this was a one and a half years ago these towers were not there but a little bit of them and they built those in such a fast tempo I wonder how expensive it will be to live here What I like about this Dongne, this district is in Korea you have boutiques for cars it's not like in Europe where I come from that you go to an industrial area and you have there just a store which is selling Mercedes or Hyundai or Genesis cars but they have boutiques, I hope you can see it and it's like if you go to a Louis Vuitton store and you want to buy an expensive bag you go there, you can sit down you can search the catalogs for different designings the same thought in mind as the Tesla boutiques which are very impressive 2016 when I saw them the first time it was a very different experience to buy a car there and to just go to an industrial area I would love once to buy a Honda Granger there or a Genesis car like if you are in Korea you must have a Korean car it's just a part of the experience so I wonder when this time will come you see now the streets are getting to be full packed so there is a reason why you need these wide streets it's now evening so many people arrive early let's go to the side I hope all these people do enjoy the evening after they arrive it's really worth it today what's also something to talk about of course Korean people like fashion a lot also luxury so you have many stores who not only sell new ones also second hand they are mostly in great conditions because Koreans hate scratches on their backs and they sell even the used ones for a lot of money also all kinds of expensive watches like Rolexes and so many luxury models which I never saw back in Switzerland we have also great department stores like Lotte Pekajon which just means Lotte department store and as one of the biggest companies in Korea Lotte has built huge shopping malls which stretch over maybe 14 floors of high-end luxury fashion and all what you can imagine Also here on the right side, Koreans have a very funny way to explain to you what's inside the house. They just ride it with gun pants with these commercial signs here. And uh, many many houses are full of them, very Asian I guess. These cherry blossoms seems not to be ready yet but I guess next week it will look stunning also here are more of the government facilities this district of Anyang is full of them Here you can see a classical Korean school, Daran Chodong Hagyo. But sadly, all the students are now inside. Ah. At least we can enjoy the fine weather. So, it's the big entrance. I wonder how many students are going here every morning.
school is finished now. Here is a different school building. There are some school kids. Which are hopefully going home now. It's a long day. Or maybe enjoying the weather. But not so many of them, the most as school children went this way. For what reason? We are now going this way, our part of Anyang. And we will walk around Anyang Gechon. This is a beautiful river, <coughs> which is also a great location for new pictures. And we will see each other there again. Or maybe sooner, if I find something interesting to film. <laughs> 